Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Design is something that all projects should factor into the development process as it has a significant impact on the usability, experience, and therefore the adoption of all custom solutions. You can think of design from two different angles, organization and branding. Now, let me throw my cards down on the table. I am a developer, and I'm not one who is arrogant enough to think that I have a clue about design. I'm not gonna tell you how you should be building your custom SharePoint framework solutions and how things should look. This chapter, though, is just gonna touch on the various design elements that you should be aware of to leverage them in your customizations. Then this chapter is gonna look at the branding options and specifically leveraging colors in the form of custom CSS, themes, and visual languages. However, like any well-implemented project, you need to evaluate if you need to bring a professional designer into the project at an early stage to ensure that your customizations have the best chance of success and therefore adoption. Only you can decide if that's important, so just keep that in mind. The goal of this chapter is to make you aware of the tools that Microsoft has made available within the SharePoint framework. Okay, so let's look at what this chapter is gonna cover in a little more specifics. This chapter will first look at some design elements to consider when building custom SharePoint framework solutions. We'll first touch on an overview of the design elements in SharePoint customizations. And then we'll look at some of the design elements to consider with respect to web parts in the areas of property panes, placeholders, and sizing of your web parts. Finally, we'll look at dialogues, a smaller design element that can be leveraged by SharePoint framework customizations such as web parts or application customizers. Then we'll cover the branding aspect from leveraging custom CSS styles the right way, as well as leveraging SharePoint themes and taking advantage of different visual design languages such as Bootstrap, Material, and the Office UI fabric from Microsoft. Okay. Let's jump into the design section of this chapter first. 